Welcome back, I'm the Game Beaver, and I'm a very nervous beaver today, because I don't know, as soon as this game opens, I'm gonna find out whether I got Ceratosaurus or not. Again, I didn't stay up, I just grinded it enough that I thought would get it, and a survey says, YES! Ah, oh, awesome! <laughs> I was really worried actually this time. I know I said it last time, but this time I only had about, um, 300? I think it was about 300, because, um, Number, it was, I had three hours left, and the, like, number 100 had 2,900, and I had two, sorry, 3,200. So I was thinking, even though there's three hours left, it's a possibility that every hour, they'll go up by 100, if that. So I, I was quite hesitant, but we did it, and we got awesome! <laughs> Oh, that was awesome! Ow, I hurt myself. <laughs> I was excited. I got 2,000 flipping bucks! Finally! Oh. Oh, at least the event um, packs haven't been nerfed. Now, that felt good, because I spent about 2,000 bucks getting um, the extra cups I needed to get Ceratosaur. So, this is a sweet victory indeed. Mwah! This is beautiful. Turn out, turn out, buy it again. <laughs> So, um, I've also, um, just been making my way through the other dinosaurs. We're probably gonna, uh, what I'm gonna do is quickly, uh, collect all of these. Because, um, I think that if I collect all of the coin, and the way the game works, it, it has data. And when it has loads of coins ready to collect, that's a lot of memory it's holding, a lot of usage, a lot of things moving up and down, a lot of images. So if I collect all of these images, or, well, in this case, coin, uh, I should have good graphics. And if I don't and refresh it, then there's probably more of a chance of it having good graphics. I think when it... Oh, God, hammer now! When it collects... Um, I, don't, I think that's what it is. It's data. I think it's data. Um, and not the Star Trek data. So there you go. I think now when I click it, it's when it drops a certain frame. That's what I think. When it drops frames because there's too much going on, that's when it'll shift to bad graphics. So if we look on Trudon, oh no, good graphics. That's awesome. Yeah. Also, all of my Trudons hatched yesterday, last night. Um, all their little baby feathers. They all came out of their eggs going blah, like that one just did. <laughs> so let's collect our free pack. Ooh, DNA is always handy. But. But, um, oh no, we have enough room for Ceratosaurus there. I'm excited. I am excited, and apparently, there should be an update. Um, I think Dacosaur is coming out. Now, usually at about this time, for me, um, the update comes out. But, it hasn't today, which is interesting. Uh, so the, the next one we'll be getting is a Dacosaur. Uh, we'll just, oh yeah, we gotta speed up zing zing bajing. I've got so many dinosaurs. It's it's an effort, guys. Jurassic World is a hard place to run. There's <laughs> so many babies. So how you doing, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World. Yeah, I kind of didn't really say it because I was too busy worrying if I'd won that or not. And guess what? We did. So we have a Ceratosaurus. Um, let's see its level 40 stats. 500 attack. I just heard the letterbox go, but uh, it's so windy outside that the wind is ding dong ditching me, or knocky knocky nine doors as we would call it. Uh, so 500 damage at level 40 isn't amazing. I know that Trodon at level 20 has 500 damage, so at level 40 Trodon will have a thousand. So it's possible that Ceratosaurus may be a health tank. You know what? No, it's it's not a health tank because it has good attack. It's not amazing attack, but it's good for a uh, event. Um, I'm pretty sure Megalosaurus. Megalosaurus. How much health does he have? Two thousand seven hundred. So Ceratosaur has four hundred extra health. So it's more of a health tank than Megalosaurus, but not that much. It's kind of. It's kind of okay. It's the average player. Uh, I love Ceratosaurus. I loved it ever since uh, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. And it was... What I loved about its programming was that it w it was a carnivore that it, would it wouldn't it would be scared of Allosaur. Now, Allosaur was huge. 
It was like basically a huge um, theropod carnival in, in like a large carnival in that game. But Ceratosaurus would attack Allosaur if it was hungry, but it wouldn't be afraid of it. And I loved that. He had this little guy fighting up against the uh, like Allosaur. And that's what I did for Jurassic Park month, the last episode of Operation Genesis, where I went back to the PlayStation 2, where it, my childhood started with that game. My childhood nostalgia and love for it happened. And that's why I wanted to return there. And I ended it with that. Ceratosaurus is sort of on an island with Allosaurs. Unfortunately, all of the Ceratosaurs did die because um, Ceratosaurs, I think... Uh, only attack Allosaurs if they're really hungry? I'm not too sure. Basically, it's an effort. Two hits from an Allosaur kill Ceratosaur, but it takes about four or five from Ceratosaur to kill Allosaur. And if I haven't tongue-tied you enough with Ceratosaur and Allosaur, I have now! So let's hatch this. It takes eight days. So it's not as long as Trodon. That's good, that's good. Um, just under 2,000. Uh, we basically we won 2,000 bucks there. So by speeding it up, we're still in the plus by a little bit, even though I'm down overall. So let's see. Okay. So we have Spinosaurus animation? Spinosaurus animation? Spinosaurus an Okay, um... I'm not happy with that. Sorry, game. Yeah, I'm not happy with that. Have 111 carnivores. Hank! Hank Freeman, when does it end? When does the torture end? When will you be happy? I get 111, and the next time I see it, I have 120. You're a madman. So, Ceratosaur is a Spinosaur animation. I just want to make sure that is good graphics. It is good graphics. Okay, that's good. Um, I'm not happy with this. I'm okay with it having the animation set. That I'm fine with. Ceratosaur wasn't that big though, and I get the feeling he's gonna be huge. He looks huge already. So that I'm kind of annoyed at. Um, the fact that he makes the same noises as a Spinosaur? I can understand Sukumimus. I can understand Spinosaur sharing the same sound effect. But Ceratosaurus? Look at it! This thing wouldn't make that sort of hissing, I don't know, alligator sound effect. At all! Look at this thing, it's more like a T-Rex or something. How, what, where, do, if we tap it a lot, does that make the noise? I think it does. Yeah, it's not too bad. I think it's, it's like, Wah! when it leans on its back legs really high. That's when you hear it. Um, that I'm a bit disappointed about. The overall model looks awesome. He has his little horn on his head, which is pretty cute. Uh, 896, 151. So what we are going to do is get another one. And, ooh. So Trodon is the most expensive. And it goes in 500s. Oh my god, look at this. So, um... The way this game favors is attack damage is more important than health. Because the dinosaur with the most attack, in this case Trodon, is worth the most. So that's quite interesting because I know that is it it's not Mawasaurus, is it? I think it is. It's something like that. Metracanthosaurus. I think that might be it. That's the other um event dinosaur that's gonna be coming out soon eventually. And that has more attack than Trodon. So that's probably gonna be about eight thousand. Jesus, we're oh my god. I hope you never have to make a Blumen hybrid. Out of these, because that's very expensive. So, here we go. We've got Spike, the Antarctopelta, and Megalosaurus are the same price, but Megalosaurus has more health. So, shouldn't Antarctopelta be a little bit cheaper? If that's the way it's going? I don't know. It's, it's confusing. It's confusing, guys. But we are going to buy another one. Uh, just let me go. Just let me go. I, I want to get... Um, Dacosaur when it comes out. I really do. But I think when it comes out, all there's going to be is an event. It's going to be an event to unlock it. And then when you unlock it, we're not going to have a Monsters of the Deep until, you know, a couple more days time. So there's no point in me really recording that because it's just regular fights. I want to show like Dacosaur. I want to get it maxed out because I've seen it maxed and it looks awesome. It looks like a whale. Whale! 
the world. Um, where are you, buddy? Where are you, Karate Sauce? Karate Sauce. That's another two thousand. Um, now if I was to get another six, that's gonna cost me twelve thousand bucks. It's possible. Oh, oh, I did it, and I got fifty bucks back. It's possible, but I will only be left with one thousand eight hundred, and one thousand eight hundred is not enough to max them up because you need um to speed it up. If I wanted it all to be in the same episode. So instead of doing that, I would rather, like, just get a level 20. Oh, it's big. Look at it. <gasps> Ooh, I like that coloring. I would like it with a red head. You know, a little nod to Operation Genesis Snow? Or even Jurassic Park 3, because it was in that as a little comic relief. So already, how much is that I've spent on speeding it up? 140 and about 94. So now it's more than 94. Uh, <laughs> it's over 100. And this is a level 20. I've got to do this four times and I've, I've spent over a hundred on one I'm probably gonna spend over a hundred on the other three. Oh, I like it. I like it Nice Pretty So I'm just gonna double check to make sure that my graphics is good. It's not my graphics is not good I was wondering because he's really dark on that side. So screw that. We're gonna exit it I hate that I I know there's the ha it if there was a switch to make good settings and bad settings, everybody's going to want to go to good settings. Um, but if they're on a mobile and it can't handle it, what happens then? They're going to switch to good graphics and then it's going to crash. So uh, that, that kind of doesn't make sense. So what they've implemented is this secret hidden. Um, that's better. Ah, did you see that? It clicked off. You son of a- Oh! It was on for a split second, and then it disappeared. Now, I'm playing this on an iPad. Um, I can't remember what exactly what iPad it is. I could always just go on its settings and stuff, but screw that, right? I'm lazy. <laughs> but this is a pretty good device. So I don't understand why it's going to bad graphics. Okay, stay. Stay. Good. <laughs> no! Why? Why do you do this? I can only imagine it's because my park is so overflown with John Hammond statues that it can't handle it. It just can't do it. Oh, damn. Damn. Really? Is this going to be the third try? Like, I've collected most of the coins, dude. Guys, I've collected most of the coins. There's no need for it to be bad graphics. Stay like that. I'm going to feed it. While we st- Oh, right, okay, sod you. Sod you. Sod you, sod you, sod you. <laughs> I know that, that, that the case is that, like, that's the reason. I've just got too many things. I've got too many John Hammond statues. But you know what? Sod it. No, I'm not collecting all of these just to see good graphics. That shouldn't be a problem. It really shouldn't. I don't know why all the carnivores are so dark. You go on a herbivore, boom, it's so bright. But no, it, it's like it turns off a certain, a certain lighting on them. Um, and I don't know why it does that. It's really frustrating me now. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is hopefully there'll be a new update coming out soon. I'm hoping. And it's not too long since we had, you know, the aquatic uh, animals come out. Um, but I'm hoping there will be another one. Make us up to level 70. I can collect all of this XP. Probably only get up to level 67. Maybe 68. And then sell them all. And um, I want to properly decorate my park. Except for having this bit. As, you know, an area where I put my highest earning dinosaurs. Or, sorry, prehistoric creatures. Because not all of them are dinosaurs. And then I can just get loads of money from them. So with that out of the way. Uh, Battle Stage Infinite Pack. Ooh, where's, who, like, Trodon must be better, right? Oh! Oh, it is so much better. Half the attack, and then X, wait, Stratosaur has half the attack, right? But Trodon has, sorry, yeah, Stratosaur half the attack, but fifth extra half the health. So they should even out, right? But that's not the way this game works, because if you put in more than one attack, you get like an extra 10% bonus to your attack. 
So really, in this game, the higher your attack, the better. Um, especially if you know how the bots are going to play. In this case, we'd have to put in an amphibian. So, uh, uh, I think Ichthyostega would be good. And Sorry, Prion Sutures. So yeah, Ichthyostega would be good. And then Pteranodon. And then Serato. Serato Bato. But that's only for Compaq. And I'm not going to waste that chance. I'm going to keep on refreshing that. <laughs> but just to highlight uh, how awesome uh, Ceratosaurus is. Let's put in the classic. The way to almost 90% win every one of these uh, free battles. And that is to put in something really weak. And then put in something. Now... This is interesting. I saw a picture of, like, Jurassic World, the game, posted themselves of Chris Pratt saying, uh, save your best creatures to last. And now, that's something I said ages ago in Jurassic Park Builder. But, Lydia, this game doesn't work like that. For one, you cheat. Uh, <laughs> on the battles, uh, sometimes. Because you know what sort of creatures are put in. The algorithm goes, yeah, I'm not going to hold any bars here. I'm going to go for a full attack because I know I can win. And another one is um, the fact that... Now, what I would normally do is put in two weak creatures at the start and one strong creature. And that's what I would do with Jurassic Park Builder. But that's not the way this game works. Because in Jurassic Park Builder, they waste their specials and waste their blocks, which they only have a limited number of, at the start. That's what they do. So when your good creature comes out, you've got all your blocks, all your specials. They basically wasted all of theirs. And then you can sweep with your really good creature. That's the way it used to work. In this game, it doesn't work like that. So that little uh, picture they put up saying, This is how you can do it, guys. Only applies to Jurassic Park Builder, unfortunately. It does not apply for this. This tactic, actually, you want to put in your best creature second. Because uh, your really weak creature will waste all of their goes. See, now G Giganotosaurus is dead in one hit. Now, we've got to go first. Luckily, so they will waste both of their goes, making sure they've got the absolute kill. Uh, because I might have had one block, and if I did, they go for two. Now, Ceratosaurus comes in here. And Ceratosaurus um, can kill in two hits. And it can go for that. Because there is no blocks. Boom! Dead. Um, now, Connor after. Oh, look at your little brother. You look quite similar, actually. Now, Conoraptor can't do anything. Nothing at all. Even if it goes for two attacks, it's not doing anything. Now, I'm going to switch into Jongasaurus. I've missed the go. I've wasted one switching it in. So, even if I go for a full-on reserve, hopefully they didn't block, which they did. Uh, hopefully they should have one more. They do have one more. They are probably going to go for four. That's right, they do, because that will kill me, even if I went for three blocks. Now, Ceratosaur comes in again. Can kill Conoraptor with the least amount of attacks. And then it's a one-on-one... -on -one one on one on one with a frickasaurus. So one, two, you're dead. One, two, and then two. I don't think he, I think he's on three still, isn't he? Is it that early on in the game that I've won when he's only got three still? Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> so he couldn't have killed me even if he went for three. Uh, oh my god, they're completely in sync. So full on seven from Ceratosaurus. Let's do this. Oh, it looks awesome. Yeah. Boom, and there you go. Ceratosaur wins. Ah. Beautiful. Again, I hope they do fix this, uh, like, graphical glitch. I don't know how they could, honestly, because it looks to me like they put that in place for a reason. It's not a mistake. Um, like, that's why I said the mobile games, if they can't run it, they'll probably crash. Oh, we... Oh, come on. Come on, Bucks. Yes! Awesome. We got five Bucks back! Hey, it's a little victory, but it's all about the little victories. <laughs> I'm gonna put in a bunny door, And that, my fellow friends and chaps, is gonna have to wrap up this video. So, hopefully... Oh! Hold on! No, it hasn't. Because it's about to get serious. So, if you guys remember, not too long ago, I asked you to vote for who would win in a fight between T-Rex 
and Spinosaurus. And finally, the votes are in. In fact, you made this the most clicked video of annotations ever. That is quite an achievement, and you guys deserve to give yourself a pat on the back. This was an incredibly close match. Like, I did not expect the uh, for what to happen that happened. And not only that, but I didn't expect the winner to be who the winner was. So, first, let's start with T-Rex, who got a whopping 3,079 clicks. But Spinosaurus got 3,215. So that makes Spinosaurus the winner. And there you have it, crowned by you. That's who you think would win. I mean, we saw, uh, we, we now know that you guys think that T-Rex would obviously lose to a Spinosaur. But how about we do another one of these? How about we have Spinosaurus versus Indominus Rex? So now you can click on which one you think would win. Already Spinosaur has beaten T-Rex. That's why right, Dustpock 3 is now uh, canon. <laughs> but what would happen if Spinosaurus came up against the formidable Indominus Rex? It's up to you to vote now. So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.